Hey guys, Dave with you here. I'm in lovely Duck, North Carolina on Caratuck Sound behind me. Right now as I speak, the remnants of Hurricane Elsa are rolling in, so the paddling is not the greatest right now. We're anticipated to get high winds and big chop in just a matter of an hour or so here. Thought I'd take this opportunity to give you a little bit of background of who I am and where I came from. Um, I enjoyed paddling from a very young age when I was in the Boy Scouts. We would go on canoe trips. I loved going on those trips organized usually by Bob Barrage uh, from Boy Scout Troop 186 in Natrona Heights, Pennsylvania, more accurately Birdville, Pennsylvania. Then uh, as a kid growing up I would always go to a church summer camp called Camp Laurelwood outside of Ligonier, Pennsylvania and we had an activity called Waterfront where you would start out in a rowboat and then progress up through to a canoe and hopefully by the end of the week you would you were proficient enough to go into a a, a solo kayak which I think were called play -X. they were very little plastic molded kayaks but as a kid um, nine ten years old my goal was to just paddle one of those kayaks around that tiny little lake because to me that was pure enjoyment and freedom um, and then over the years from there I never really had all that much money always wanted to buy a kayak didn't have the money uh, worked my way through college um, took out grants to get through college came out worked professionally for several years and not until I was married uh, did I have the opportunity to actually go out and buy my first kayak which was a uh, a Kiowi 2 that I, my wife and I bought so we could go out together and that really re-sparked my interest in the sport and then a few years after that I got into competitive kayak racing my first downriver race ever was the Thai River race in Nelson County Virginia um, from that moment I was hooked the week after that was our local Rivanna River race the Thai River or the Nelson Downriver race in uh, Nelson County benefited their local uh, rescue squad. Our local Rivanna race benefited our local river conservation group. So very early on I always wanted to participate in a sport that somehow raised money for charities or somehow gave back. In the years since then um, I've started obviously posting videos on YouTube. I don't pretend to be an expert or pro paddler. I'm an average guy. Uh, kind of a weekend warrior kind of guy and I just want to share my passion for the sport and pass that on to people. In several of my past videos you've heard me come up with the tagline love the sport take what it has to give you and pay it forward and I mean that. Um, I want to pass along my passion for the sport hopefully maybe show to other people that it's a you know you can get into this sport at any age it doesn't take a lot of money in terms of equipment you can buy a used plastic boat for a few hundred dollars and if the desire and the passion is there you can get into the sport and as you get more and more into it you'll find opportunities to trade boats to find newer boats faster boats um, all at affordable prices and um, I've done that I want to share my passion with you I'm a kid really who came from the Trone Heights, Pennsylvania with nothing um, and I, it really bothers me when I hear people say that kayaking is an elitist sport. Well, you know, there was a lot of years, decades of hard work and paddling and just pure passion for the sport that finally was able to pay dividends to me where I was able to get some nice boats, share my story with you and surprisingly to me, um, a large number of you watch my videos you read my blog and I, I truly appreciate that I never really expected this to turn into a thing um, but it has so I just wanted to take a few minutes during downtime here and just say you know where there's a will there's a way you can get into the sport at any age um, actually as you get older this is one of the few sports where you can actually improve and that's one of the things I m most like about it is you can see 70 and 80 year old paddlers out there who are keeping up with uh, a, most of the top paddlers. That age and experience and development of your technique is really what gives you that competitive edge. So um, I reject people who say this is an elitist sport. I started with nothing. I came into this sport really with the cheapest, worst gear you could possibly imagine and uh, just stuck with it and slowly and surely was able to get better and better boats and, and bring those to you. And I also want to say I highly value those boat manufacturers and especially their reps who organize paddling events and races 
to raise money for charities. I'm a strong believer that if you're doing something and you have a passion for a sport, do something to improve the lives of others. So I love to support those races and those race organizers who put together an event for charity. For years, something like 10 years, I helped organize our local Rivenna River race. And I know what a true pain in the rear end that can be. All the details that go into it, all the planning, all the logistics, it's, it's a lot. And um, to have people organize an event like that, not only to promote the sport and sure their their boats are getting exposure but really to raise money for charities that's what it's all about um i've supported charities you saw um over the winter time last year i made a donation to a local um, ministry who does a prison ministry outreach made a donation to them um, everything I do here is really to kind of raise a little bit of money to invest back into the channel so I can leverage that into more opportunities to give back to the sport and to donate to good causes. So uh, hopefully the winds will die down here this week. Hopefully the storm will pass through quickly. I just wanted to go on this side of the camera and give you a little bit of backstory of who I am and where I came from. I'm not an elite paddler. I certainly hope I am not an elitist paddler. I'm just an average guy who's doing something that I love to do and sharing it with you. So that's who I am. Um, let me know if there's something in particular you'd like me to talk about or show you and I'll do my best to, uh, to bring it to you. Until next time, love this sport, take what it has to give you, and pay it forward.